Looking back now, do you think that our country's use of the bomb was necessary? I believe that the view which I learned from many, but above all from General Marshall and from, from Colonel Stimson, the Secretary of War, the view that they had that we would have to fight our way to the main islands and that it would involve a slaughter of Americans and Japanese on a massive scale was arrived at by them in good faith, with regret, and on the best evidence that they then had. To that alternative, I think the bomb was an enormous relief. The war had started in 39. It had seen the death of tens of millions. It had seen brutality and degradation, which had no place in the middle of the 20th century. And the ending of the war by this means is certainly cruel, was not undertaken lightly. But I am not, as of today, confident that a better course was then open. I have not a very good answer to this. Dr. Oppenheimer, nevertheless, with all the rationalization, with all the inevitability of the decision that history demonstrates to us, you and many like you, who brought the bomb into being still seem to suffer, may I say, from a bad conscience about it. Is that true, sir? Uh, well, I don't want to speak for others because we're all different. Uh, I, uh, I think when you play a, a meaningful part in bringing about the death of over 100,000 people and the injury of a comparable number, uh, you naturally uh, don't think of that as with ease, I believe. We had a great cause to do this, but I do not think that our consciences should be entirely easy at stepping out of the part of studying nature, learning the truth about it, uh, to change the course of human history. Long ago, I said once that uh, in a crude sense, which no vulgarity and no humor could quite erase, the physicists had known sin. And I didn't mean by that the deaths that were caused as the result of our work. I meant that we had known the sin of pride. We had turned to effect in what proved to be a major way, the course of man's history. We had the pride of thinking we knew what was good for man. And uh, I do think it has left a mark on many of those who were responsibly engaged. This is not the natural business of a scientist.